Oh, Kamala invested so much and lost so big. Kamala Harris got almost a billion dollars with the B in campaign contributions. That is spend, spin, spin, baby, spin. She had the best of the best of the most popular and other celebrities on her payroll. Hell, remember Cardi B said she wasn't going to endorse anybody else again? Yeah. Well, that changed real quick. Teleprompter went out. Somebody had to bring another phone for her to try to read. Bubblehead. Now, had them. Had Oprah. Right? Right? had Obama, the magical Negro, and Michael by his side. John Legend, who is just ordinary people. <laughs> the whole race baiting crew, you know, the Breakfast Club, Angela Rye, uh, all of the HBCU graduates, right? All of those that were Alpha, Beta, Delta, Sigma, Theta, Gator, Waiter, Hater, Gator, Later, 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 whatever they were, all them years, right? All of them even had the doggone old Democrat plantation Negroes that just never learned. The Democrats have never been a friend of black America. Had all of them out there with a whole bunch of money. You couldn't doggone turn on the TV without seeing a Kamala commercial. She had every race baited there was. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Spike Lee, Tyler Perry. Oh, I pocket. So had them on the same stage. And I'm like, you know they got paid because... Tyler and uh, Spike were beefing, were they not? Oh, yeah, they were. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of this. Then had the victory party at Howard University. Yeah. All that free chicken. All that free chicken that they had. And DJs and dance and song and all of this. And yeah. She didn't even speak to him about the loss. She's going to speak later on today. She had all the cards in the book and still lost. And I love it. See, this is some in your face, in your face, in, in, in your face. And any that don't like it, especially those that are on my Facebook friends list. Don't like it. Click delete. I don't care. Because I distinctively remember. Oh, it was so much fun when Biden won the last time. Now, (laughs) what has Trump done? He's made history. Yes, he won an election. That's the first time that this has happened in an election since 1890 something. Not 19, 18, 90 something. Everybody walked in. He won't win this because a win of that magnitude, that is an impossible win. Because that, that, and he did the impossible and didn't cheat to do it. Didn't cheat to do it. See? Then on top of it, man. The black American male vote, the brothers came out for Trump strong. Yeah. See? Now you got Sister Girl Incorporated. They were like, but all y'all did was just, you know, it was just 25% of y'all did it. That was enough. (laughs) Oh, that was enough. 25%, really, it was more than enough. 25% of the black vote as a whole, not just a particular as a whole was enough. No, there was 25% of the brothers. 
and you had some sisters that wasn't voting for them either. That was another 10%. So what do you got? 35% of the black American vote swung the election for the Republicans. Yes! Talk to me quick. Don't talk to me slick. And you got, what is this? Michigan? Arizona and Nevada still haven't been called. It's still three states open. Kamala Harris got 226 electoral votes. Three states still open to be called. And that still wouldn't be enough. That wouldn't get over 270. Trump got 277. He may end up getting over 280. When all is said and done. <laughs> yes. Yes.